Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right Smash there. Smash like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dab right. on that bell. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another game of Would You Rather? <laughs> the last one got lost to the internet. The internet goblins ate it. So I have <laughs> new questions for you guys so that we don't repeat so I can throw you off your game. Okay. Um, so the first Smart. one actually is kind of related a little bit to COVID, but... <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, so the first one is, uh, would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of smell? Smell. I want to... Yeah, smell. I enjoy food. So I thought that too, like, taste is awesome because you taste your food. But if you couldn't taste, you could eat a lot of healthy food. And cut out <laughs> like all of the like bullshit, and just be like, I'm gonna be fucking healthy. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well, for me, I see it. Uh, that that's a that's a take. For me, I see it. Hmm. One of the things that you enjoy most in the world is just gone now. Well, now you can enjoy other things like smelling things. I. S- <laughs> it's like my thoughts through Brittany's mouth right now. That's. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really don't feel that way. Yeah, I'd rather lose my sense of taste. Okay, I, that's I why still we're think getting I... a live, laugh, love sign for the living room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with smell on this one. As much as I would agree with that, I mean, I'm still alive, so I must be doing enough right. Okay. <laughs> He, That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> you know what? That is, oh, you, you just everything you're saying today. I want to put on a t-shirt, Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it happen. I'm Live still alive. Love. I must be doing something right. <laughs> all right, this next one's pretty pretty simple too. Um, would you rather know all the secrets of space or all the secrets of the ocean? Oh, space. Space. space, space, space! I don't give a fuck about the water. That's like but a minuscule part of. I tried to watch of- Sequest DSV, and it is not <laughs> Star Trek, but underwater. It's just like a bunch of wet people swimming around in a boat with a dolphin. Brit- Brittany, what? did you? I have a question. Did you come up with this fucking question just so you could talk about Waterworld? Um, I wanted to talk about the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Actually. Wow, that shit is spooky. <laughs> okay, I want to know about the ocean. <laughs> okay, because I knew what you, I knew what your answer was going to be, but <laughs> you know it was going to be the ocean. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, would you rather have a side of dog treats with every meal, or a side of cat food with every meal? <laughs> dog treats. It's got treats in the name. Psychological, like. Yeah, I'm going to go with dog treats like the milk bones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why is because I used to eat those milk bones when I was a kid anyway. (laughs) You're a fucking raccoon. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) You know, I've never eaten the milk bones. How do they taste? They're not bad. Well, yeah, but how do they taste? Like Salty. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's just like if if we're talking dry food, it's all just going to be salty bullshit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's cat food cat could f- be like interpreted as like the wet cat mm. food, which is not great. It's pretty mm. gross, actually. Have you yeah, eaten smells- that? I have not eaten. No, that but stuff. it smells just like vegan meat, which I have eaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the key I- with veganism is just to eat more vegetables. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, we, tr- we, we tried don't like fuck the- with non meat replications. <laughs> we tried the burger beef. And like uh, the burger beef, no, excuse burger me, the beef. beyond, beyond, the crowd. beyond <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the, the beyond beef. like meat, and like we tried to make tacos, and it was not good. <laughs> it was not. It's so yeah. as someone yeah. who grew up vegetarian, like mm-hmm. that whole technology has come a long way. But I still think, yeah. like, if if you want a burger, do a black bean burger. It's, yeah, it's yeah, fucking delicious. Absolutely. Yeah, the um, pretty much uh, uh, one of my coworkers was like, "Yeah," when I told him this, he was like, "You should just do a black bean taco. It's way yeah. better." Yeah. yeah, and I was like, just "Okay." Dump a bunch of cumin and onions and peppers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm into I, it. I've been I've been eating more veggie stuff lately, so. I did like the Impossible Whopper when I had it, so. So that is, a, uh, I do like the Impossible Burger. I will say that. <clears throat> but, I want to try um, one outside of the Burger King uh, chain. Yeah, um, I, is that available somewhere? Because so far the only things I see are like the Beyond shit. Yeah, um, Backyard Burger, which I don't know if there's one near you. I see, nah. I see has one, but whenever ever I go there, I don't want to get it. <laughs> because yeah, I'd rather, just, <laughs> if, rather just have a real burger. Yeah, well, it's just so expensive anyway. It's like if I want to get some good shit, like I'm gonna just get the regular shit. Yeah. Um, Look, what was the question? I totally didn't even answer it. it. <laughs> um, would you rather have a side of dog treats with every meal or a side of cat food with every meal? Uh, I guess dog treats, since you can vouch for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend who says it's how okay. My friend tried it. She's still here. But only what? if it's the brand of cat food that my cat likes. Oh, okay. So that oh, then yeah. the cat could theoretically eat off of my plate. Because she's you a, know bit what? Of a There's... treat whore. <laughs> there is some legit fantastic cat food out there. It's like that shit that's in the refrigerator that costs a shit ton. Mm-hmm. So, I don't like, even if... know how we'd put that on a shirt. <laughs> just, just uh, a picture of your face, Jairus, with a frown and maybe a teardrop. No, just that whole sentence. It's it's like the black and white uh, hot topic T-shirt, but it's just a paragraph of rambling. It's just a copy pasta on a shirt. I would, I would pay for that. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of merch off this episode. <laughs> All right, so this is where stuff's starting to get. Or sell. <laughs> <laughs> this is where stuff is going to start getting really weird. So, oh, okay. okay the next the question is: uh, Would you rather have sex with a, a hideously ugly person, like just the worst person that you can think of, mm-hmm. or a beautiful fresh corpse? <laughs> oh, easy, C- fresh corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cross over into necrophilia just mm-hmm. yet. <laughs> um, so I am going to say not a corpse. So you're going to bang Quasimodo? <laughs> yeah. He's got a good yeah, soul. I, I, will, I will go into Quasimodo realm. I mean, yeah. Hutch and I double team in Quasimodo. <laughs> yep. You know Brittany, what? Draw that go... art with your new cricket. I'm going to. I'm going to go with the corpse. <laughs> cool. Well, me and Brittany can uh, spit roast the corpse, yep. and then you guys can spit roast the hideous person. <laughs> What's the Eiffel Tower version for the Hunchback of Notre Dame? <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, it's the Eiffel Tower. Cause the- <laughs> it is just <laughs> the, the building itself. I want to fuck the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Would you rather <laughs> fuck the Eiffel Tower <laughs> or the Statue of Liberty? Mm-hmm. In its current Obviously, form. the Statue of Liberty, because I love America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the Statue of Liberty because it's smaller. <laughs> I'm not saying that you have to fit the entirety of it in your butt. <laughs> well, <laughs> then um, I've always wanted to be fucked by the City of Lights. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, I was. I'm going to say Statue of Liberty, but I was going to make a joke saying Eiffel Tower because it has a flared base. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hutch. Perfect. Okay. Would you rather wear Oops. someone else's dirty underwear or use their toothbrush? Dirty underwear. Uh, toothbrush. Yeah, I'm going with toothbrush. <laughs> the toothbrush what, doesn't what, what, bother me as much. I, I put worse things in my mouth. <laughs> what is... So I've done... Uh, <laughs> what constitutes dirty? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe like, they took a shit in them or so something. The, I don't know. <laughs> if it took a shit in it or took or has like pissed in their pants Who, or whatever to know that's the gamble so it's like, they if, if, if it's assuming, just like a sweaty pair of underwear yeah if or it's maybe a, they just wore them and nothing bad happened then but. that <laughs> so that's yeah i'm i'm assuming standard use in this mental standard model use. yeah so like if it's brushing standard teeth use, that's like twice whatever. a day 
uh, or wearing underwear for a day. Yeah, and I'm kind of I the. Would, I'm, yeah, I would I'm rather wear underwear. someone's <laughs> someone's underwear that they wore for a day than use their toothbrush, which they have used for I don't know how long, maybe years, without <laughs> cleaning. <laughs> yeah. When I was in middle school, I got invited to this girl's party that I didn't like. Um, I don't think she liked me either. I don't know why I was there, but I went anyway. And that night before we went to bed, I realized I forgot my toothbrush and I used her toothbrush. And I was like, ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. So, yeah, you've I've got done all that. the weird things that I've got. <laughs> so, like, for me, I, I've, I've brushed my teeth with a stranger's toothbrush before, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> okay. Would you rather eat poison ivy or a handful of wasps? <laughs> Oh fuck! They God, <laughs> handful of wasps. Like to, yeah, I'm going with handful of wasps because <laughs> I can at least crush them. <laughs> yeah, poison ivy. Well, I feel like that's gonna kill you. That would. <laughs> so, as someone who has is definitely allergic to poison <laughs> ivy, um, and has had to literally be, get a shot in their butt every day for a month to get over poison ivy. I'm going to go with poison ivy. And the reason being is, is um, I just get done and over with real quick and then go get a shot. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. Maybe it's stomach acid. What, what, what are you saying? You're I'm saying, saying I'm going to eat the poison ivy despite being You're definitely allergic to it. going to eat the poison ivy? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't see that going that way. I didn't either. Yeah, I know. That's why I set it up that way. <clears throat> um mm. <laughs> I, um, as someone who dealt with poison ivy last year, uh, yeah, and we'll have to deal with it this year. Um, uh, I guess wasps, but I can't. Both. I can't. I can't imagine having an itchy mouth. Yeah, that'd be rough. Oh god, yeah. Oh, too bad. That's the one you picked. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. So the next one is hypothetical. The next one is just more awkward. Uh, would you rather sit on a stage while 100 people sing "Happy Birthday" to you, or make a joke in front of 100 people and no one laugh? Oh, Happy Birthday! Yeah, Wait, say that birthday. again. Sorry. Uh, so, would you rather sit on a stage while 100 people sing "Happy Birthday" to you, or make a joke in front of 100 people and no one laugh? Uh, the joke. You'd rather do the joke than the Happy oh, Birthday. That sounds. That sounds so good. As long as, like... <laughs> so, in, in this situation, I'm imagining, like, there's there's a setup, there's a process to it. So, you have mm -hmm. to make the decision, and then there's, like, prep that goes into it. So, I would really enjoy trying to write a joke that a hundred people <laughs> wouldn't laugh at. <laughs> Yeah, that would probably be a good challenge because I feel like even people would give you like a pity laugh or a nervous right. laugh or something. Right, so, so it's got to be some shit that doesn't even deserve a pity laugh or a pity chuckle. Jer My favorite thing is Jairus is just really actually excited for this moment yeah. of yeah. just deafening silence. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start writing right now. So for me, like, <laughs> well, it well, was I've a decision between... Stand -up. And yeah. even with bad stand up, there's somebody going like, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, for me, I was the kind of like, huh, do I want to be personally embarrassed or do I want to be embarrassed for everyone else around me? So that's kind of why I was like, ah, happy birthday. I could be more embarrassed for everyone else. So my deal with happy birthday is I feel like the more people, the more people you add, the less awkward it becomes. Yeah. I mm -hmm. feel like when you're in a room with like two people and they're singing happy birthday to you, then it's Super weird. Super awkward. <laughs> then it's like, okay, what are you guys doing? So it's, <laughs> it's my just family the, of like five people. Yeah. But you take happy birthday up, then it's like, oh, look at all these people are wishing me happy birthday. That's really cool. You know? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> But I feel like making a joke that no one laughs at is my worst nightmare. Because <laughs> that's like, how I get through life, just by making jokes. <laughs> if you succeeded at writing, at like delivering and executing with confidence a joke that a room full of people didn't laugh at and you owned it, you would like be Andy Kaufman levels of anti-humor or like a, a it's true. comedy. That is true, I guess. What we got next? Did Hutch answer it? Uh, yeah, he said birthday. Birthday, yeah. Birthday? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. 
All right. Uh, would you rather experience the beginning of planet Earth or the end of planet Earth? Oh, definitely the end. Yeah, I would say the end. Is it Fuck. like in the span of my lifetime or, or do I get to experience it, it as like a compressed event? Um, Because the beginning would... of planet Earth is like four billion years of dust floating closer to itself. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say we can be compressed. I would watch a time elapsed video of the beginning of the planet Earth. So yeah, the, uh, watching that would be fine. If that's the case, I, I agree the beginning's better. But if I'm just or like experience? living in the experiencing it, <laughs> yeah, either way, you're gonna die. Probably yeah. the end of the universe. That would be interesting. Yeah. Like I want to see how. Like, I'm, we kind of know how it started. Like, we have an understanding. But, but we don't know which wizard cast the spell. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. God, I, I want to say the beginning. Um, But, yeah. I'm, oh, God, I don't know. I'm going to say beginning. Cause, okay. Because I don't think I want to <clears throat> live with, like, the dread of knowing that, like, anxiety that death is coming. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's fair. You're going to hate this next question. <laughs> yeah, no, that's coming for all of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather see the end. Um, and on to the last question I have. Um, <clears throat> would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? <laughs> when. Okay. I, I would like to plan out things. <laughs> Get all your vacation time in before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll stop putting off that trip to Japan. How, I think. Because I think how would be the more interesting thing to know. I would say how as well, because there might, I don't know, in my mind, there might be a chance that I could change it. Like if it's <clears throat> health related or something, yeah. I could maybe like change my ways. Or if it's like you fell off a cliff while looking at the Grand Canyon, I'd be like, well, I'm not going to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. And we'll just see like how we could alter the timeline based on if you know how you died. So you are expecting a final destination situation here. What do you mean? So they like in Final Destination, the movie, they see how they're going to die and they decide to not do it right before it happens. Mm -hmm. And then death constantly chases them one by one through the movie well, and they die in different ways. I don't think death will chase me because death is not a thing. OK, <laughs> well, that can haunt got her. me. <laughs> I'm not. So, yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'm not. Death if ain't the, people, and, Michelle. Yeah, death ain't people. <laughs> if this is uh, in this hypothetical question of knowing your fate one way or the other, if fate exists in that realm, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, how uh, when because uh, if fate exists like that, then yeah, I want to know when and how much time I got. Okay. The countdown, like at, at that point, I'm go however I'm going well, to die. It's whatever. I think I think it's it's a different of ideology because like Michelle and Hutch say when, assuming that they would then plan their lives accordingly to to make maximum use of that time. But I, I think that means that your death is a fixed point in space. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas if your death is like how you died, that could be... <clears throat> Agreeing with Brittany, that could be pushed out, that could be avoided, or that could be interacted with. And also, I think that would be a really fun anecdote to just have in my back pocket. Like, oh yeah, yeah. And by the way, I'm going to die it when a glass ceiling collapses and like shards of glass penetrate my brain. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. I don't go into buildings with glass ceilings. <laughs> Huh. Or he just wear, wear a construction helmet. <laughs> no, just don't look up. That's the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Uh, no, for me, I, I, I just kind of like, hmm. Uh, I feel like the fixed point thing is going to happen either way. And knowing how doesn't matter. So if, if you knew that you had, mm -hmm. like, that you were going to die in 13 months, mm -hmm. what would you do different? Like, how would that change your life? <clears throat> um, 
in the current the, world. As a right, uh, so that the hard part there. As of right now, <coughs> nothing. Because, nothing. No, like, can't do shit. The things that we want to do, I think, like for me, the things I'd want to do before I die was travel and see a bunch of shit. But we can't right now, <laughs> so. Right. I don't know. My life probably wouldn't change that much. I'd probably be way more irritable about it, you know? Yeah. I'd be, like, super pissed all the time. I probably would just say fuck it and do it anyways. If they'd let I, you. I don't know. Depending on the situation. Drive my car in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving to Australia. <laughs> So well, this is my other question too. If you knew how you died, would you take more risks doing things that weren't related to your death? Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Like maybe like, oh, I'm not gonna bungee jump because that might snap and kill me. But <clears throat> you learned you died of like something else. Uh-huh. Well, it it you, depends you, on what it like how much information you get. Because if it's mm-hmm. just like, uh, you suffocate. Ah, that, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's like you ooh, die okay. of an infection. Fuck! How'd I get that infection? Nope, you got yeah. one question. Yeah. What's the details? Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> like that's not even informative. Which is why I picked when. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what if they told you in a time scale that you didn't understand? Oh, that's going to fuck with my brain ooh. for a while now. <laughs> Yeah, like, what if they told you, what if you're like, when am I going to die? And they were like, four trillion nanoseconds from now. Uh, yeah. Or like, four like, trillion, I mean, five hundred and thirty nine thousand three hundred and eighty one point six five seconds from now. Yeah, I'd do the math real quick, you, but that would suck. You'd try to, but the numbers would slip out of your head, and you're like, ah, fuck. Yeah. I get, I get, I get like a, a roundabout. Like, ah, oh, fuck, I, I, and I, I, fall down the stairs. And then die. <laughs> Well, yeah, those are my questions this week. All right. Um, well, thanks. I hope you guys all have something to think about while you're in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you I rather mean, have swaps. fingernails made out of cheese or a skeleton made out of noodles? Fingernails, fingernails made, out made out of cheese. Made out of cheese. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Fingernails of cheese. That's not that bad. What if it was I, a cheese I've, that you didn't I tried like? playing Quap. It's <laughs> not fun. Um, if uh, if you have any more like would you rather questions, put them in the chat for us. Put them in the um, comments. Wait, we've got a chat. Are we live streaming? Ah, we're, <laughs> we're live. We're live streaming. right now. So. <laughs> so take it we'll do it course. live. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.